When you first go through a transition like I've been through, you're always wondering why people are looking at you. You're worried about people making you as being transgendered. And you're worried about your personal safety. You're worried about if somebody's going to become abusive towards you verbally or potentially physically. And it took me probably a good year, year and a half after I transitioned to work through that. What this legislation has done is forced me to be at my highest senses again and wonder why people are looking at me and wondering if they're questioning me in any way and making me wonder if my personal safety is in jeopardy. I grew up in North Carolina and I've always loved being in North Carolina. It was always a very progressive state. It's just really heartbreaking to have lived through this nightmare. The transgender aspect of this bill is one small part of a larger effort to repeal protections for all LGBT people in the state of North Carolina. This is our Selma, where we have to fight for people to see us as who we are. It's inhumane to me. The lawmakers have chosen our community to single out. I mean, our community is already so fragile with high rates of suicide and violence. Teens who are going through a transition right now, they're trying to come to terms with who they are, whether they're LGB or transgender. The calls to the suicide prevention hotline nationally for the transgender community is, is more than doubled in the last month. Calls to the LGBT center here in Raleigh have increased eightfold in the last month. That's what I worry most about and why I'm so active in trying to be a part of affecting change against this legislation. This law will kill people in this state and I don't think the lawmakers have the first clue. They're worried about a fictional man in a restroom. They're not worried about anything to do with the human lives of the transgender community.